This tutorial deals with an advanced function of the AppliCAD software called barge lines. A barge line is by definition a line that transitions a neve from, from a low set to a high set as we see in this corner on the left hand side of this roof. Barge lines can be all over the roof as is the case with this example. Uh, the underlying requirement that if a barge line goes up it comes down by the same amount. You can have any number of barge lines so long as the total amount up equals the amount down. So let's now show you how we use that function and we'll start with a brand new job and using our function construct roof track outline. There are a couple of rules when you're working with barge lines and the, the first of these is that you must start two points away from a barge line and this is necessary so the software can determine whether a barge line is going up or down. So in our example we uh, work our perimeter and uh, insert the lines that define the perimeter measurements of the roof. Uh, it's usually easier to work with perimeter measurements when you're doing barge lines so if you're uh, drawing only includes wall outlines then it's uh, wise to add your overhang and use perimeter measurements. Now there are a couple of other tricks. Uh, the first one here that we'll get to now is when we get to a barge line that turns back on itself um, you, you must go um, a, a small distance away from the barge line, in this case one inch and then I'll go left uh, 11 and then up six and then uh, left one inch again. Now this is so that the uh, software doesn't cancel itself out as it comes um, as it comes back along the barge line. So there's our perimeter. Uh, we select to finish. Uh, indicate what the roof uh, slope is. Uh, it can be in degrees or a slope as in this case 612. The eave height is whatever the eave height is. So we uh, select OK and then select the barge lines function. Now you'll notice the screen changes form at this time and displays different information. It shows the eave height at the corner of, um, of, of each eave and in the prompt area at the top it shows whether that barge line is going up or whether that barge line is going down. We then continue to select our barge lines around the perimeter being careful to select the line that is the barge line and not an eave line. And notice as we do so the eave height is changing. So we've now got ourselves back to 10 foot 6, we need to go down again and this barge line will take us down, back down to 9 foot 6. So when you start at an eave height and you go up and around and back down, you know you've selected all the lines correctly. We select continue and the roof is constructed. And that's all there is to it. Any other method to develop a roof shape of this complexity, uh, in fact, cannot be done any other way. Certainly not as easy as it is using the barge lines function. Remember the points. You must start two points away. So in this case, that's one, two. That was our start point. And we also uh, must have the total length of barge lines up equal the total length of barge lines down. Watch the prompts and uh, take note of, of, of what's displayed and uh, follow your nose. It should all be fairly straightforward. Um, because we've gone up and down and around with the eave height, the wall line is now displayed. Uh, you can go into uh, Tools, Set Display, turn the wall off and uh, it doesn't offend. So there we have it. Uh, that's uh, barge lines. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please drop an email to support at applicad.com.au and we look forward to hearing from you. That's it for now. See you at the next tutorial.